I wanted to know if I could make money faster on Streets of Tarkov as a PMC or as a scav. So I ran a little experiment. I timed how long it took me to make 20 million rubles as a PMC and then another 20 mil as a player scav. And I saved the VODs of each so I could compare the statistics of both runs and those full VODs are in the description below. For years, people told me things like, I made 500K on my scav in a three minute raid. It's so easy, in, out, free money. But I suspected that they were cherry picking a good raid because I'd never hear from them about the raids where they spawned in with no bag, a tiny rig, where all the good loot had already been taken. So in order to have a real test where I'm not cherry picking an amazing few raids in which I find a bunch of Bitcoins, I knew I'd have to control for the random nature of both scav and PMC raids. I did this by playing on the same server. For both, I selected Australia as my server. On the Australian server, Monday to Thursday night are fairly quiet, assuming Monday is in a public holiday, whereas Friday night to Sunday night is a little bit more populated. So I ran on weekdays and started at the same time of day as well. For my PMC run, I started on Monday the 29th of January at 5 p.m. GMT plus eight, and the scav run began on Wednesday the 31st of January at 5 p.m. GMT plus eight. I also completed both runs on the same map, that is Streets of Tarkov, and when possible, I chose night raids. Also, I made sure to make no money from hideout or insurance during either run. I also didn't use the BTR at all because I wasn't sure if it would deliver the loot in time to count for the run. To make sure I actually made 20 mil on PMC, all equipment and consumable cost was taken into account because it wouldn't be a fair test if I burned through a stash of weapons without rebuying any of them. For the scav run, I didn't need to track any consumables, so I just took note that my intel level was 3, fence rep was over 6 at 6.2, Hideout management skill was level eight, which gave me a cooldown of about five and a half minutes. I'm not sure of the exact cooldown because it seems to start counting down before I load out to the menus to check it. A common question I got was what parts of the run are timed? What's included in the time? Everything needed to actually gain 20 million rubles in stash is included in the runtime. So that is things like scav cooldown, matchmaking time, and any stash management like selling items. Finally, why 20 million? Because the longer the test is, the more confident that we can be that the results are accurate as the outlier events, such as finding a Bitcoin or having a string of bagless spawns become less impactful. For the PMC run, my loadout was a P90 with SS190 and only two mags so that I had more space for loot, a saddle bag with two MPPVs inside of it, RBAV for armor, no helmet and GSSH headset. My strategy was to aim for super short raids, as in ideally under 10 minutes, focused on night raids, really conservative, avoiding PvP and not really pushing for high value loot, just trying to minimize risk. And I'd primarily focus on the factory, mini mall and Pinewood areas of Streets of Tarkov. If you want a run through of exactly where all the loot is in these three areas, I'll put my full loot guide down in the description below. On my PMC run, I knew that I had to be really efficient with managing my stash and deciding what to vendor and what to sell on the flea market. Because on the scav run, you're waiting for your cooldown anyway. Whereas on PMC, any time you spend messing around a stash is time not spent queuing into the next raid. So what I did was whenever I was fleeing something, I would undercut the cheapest offer so that my offers wouldn't get tied up and so that I could still be efficient throughout the run. After a successful raid, I used a quick dump method to minimize time in stash. If you want to learn more about how presets work, then check out my guide here where I have a comprehensive guide on how I use loadout presets to save me time. As for the run itself, it started pretty well. I had a decent survival streak of about nine raids. Then I died once and had another streak of about five raids which meant for the first five hours or so, I was averaging three mil per hour, but then I had a, quite a few back-to-back -back deaths, which absolutely tanked my efficiency as I tried to make the last few million rubles. I didn't find any GPUs or Lennox, not nothing too special except for a couple of Bitcoins and everything else was mostly mid to low tier trash loot. I did get a few PMC kills here and there, but I was working a lot of shots and ended up dying a bunch. I ended up with six PMC kills. It took me a total of 29 raids of which I survived 24 of them and died five times, which brought my survivor rate to 82%. My average rubles per raid, including deaths, was 689k. 
per raid, and the total time was 7 hours and 25 minutes, which means my rubles per hour average was 2.69 million rubles per hour. For my scav run, I had two different strategies depending on if I had a small bag and rig or a big bag and rig. So for the small bag and rig, I kind of didn't have much to lose. So I played a lot riskier, focusing on running straight to hotspots like Lexus, Chikanya, Mailroom, and focused on high value loose loot and a really short run. Because I had, by hitting these hotspots, I had a small chance of finding a bigger bag or rig because there could be players or maybe Caban had, had died in these areas. And it was worth prioritizing the loose loot over searching containers because of the low attention skill that I had compared to my PMC. And if you have a low attention skill, that means your search speed will be very slow. But on the contrary, if I had a big bag or rig, then I planned out a kind of a longer run, like a 5-10 minute raid, hit safer routes, hitting less hotspots, because I'd also have less risk of getting team killed like by, by other player scavs for my big bag. And I also preferred running nighttime raids on both small bag or big bag. The run itself went a lot better than I thought it would. We started off pretty strong. Around an hour 15 minutes in, we found a really juicy PMC loot at Golden World, and it came out super thick. Then I had a pilgrim and found a TV 110, which I completely stacked up with full of loot. And I only had my first death in the second hour of the run, which meant I had a great start making around 5.7 mil by two hours into the run. Then I had a string of small bags with a few deaths and my first death by TK by another scab while I was looting Caban's guards. Then during the fourth hour, I had a few more deaths and I got to the halfway point at around four hours 25 made 10 mil. Then in my sixth hour, I had my second TK death by another player scab. And finally, in my seventh hour, I actually finally got a red flare and I managed to call it and loot it all, which resulted in a really thick raid. And near the end, I got my second PMC kill and I managed to loot him and get out with a whole heap of loot. In general, I found the matchmaking times were a lot quicker on scab, but obviously that was offset by the cooldown time. On average, I spawned in with around 32 to 35 minutes left in raid, which was plenty of time to loot, heaps and heaps of areas. I didn't find any Lettics or GPUs, and I think only one or two Bitcoins. I ended up taking the Camchat Sky Extract a lot, often hitting Golden World, the Museum, and the safes in Cardinal and Astronaut. I ended up with two PMC kills, a total of 35 raids, of which I survived 28. I died in seven of them, which includes the two team kills by other player scavs. And I had a survival rate of 80%, which brought my rubles per raid average, including deaths, to 571k per raid, with a total time of 8 hours and 31 minutes, which brought my rubles per hour average to 2.34 million rubles per hour. Now to compare the PMC run to the scav run, on PMC I had 4 more PMC kills, but 6 less raids, and 4 less raids survived but also four less deaths. And I had plus 2% survival rate on PMC compared to my scav. And I averaged 118k more per raid on PMC. And I completed the challenge 66 minutes earlier than the scav run. And my rubles per hour was 0.35 mil per hour greater than the scav run. So 350,000 rubles more per hour on average. So in conclusion, PMC definitely made more money, but not by much. And the skill needed to be efficient on scav is monumentally less than on PMC. For example, on scav, you don't need to learn PMC spawns, how to survive off spawn, like how to route around the map and like different spawn timings and, and how to PVP really in the different hotspots. Like you need minimal PVP skills such as controlling recoil, clearing angles, Literally like 99% of my scav runs were just blindly running to the loot and running to extract. Like I could be watching, I could, I could be watching anime and have the same efficiency as I did during my run. Because most of the time I was just reading chat to be honest. Like very, very minimal attention needed to be actually applied, needed to be paid to the game itself in order to be incredibly efficient on scav runs. Obviously this test is not all conclusive because the efficiency of both being a scav main or a PMC main could be increased. PMC runs improve as skills level and like as you get max endurance, max strength, especially max attention and search and as you get bigger bags. So during the majority of my last wipe where I made a billion rubles, I was averaging around 3 mil per hour 
after I had like a raid bag with two LBTs and a MPPV. Everything was maxed like endurance, strength, search, attention, perception, metabolism, all maxed. That all made it really easy to make a lot more money per hour. Like, a, yeah, around three mil per hour. And scav runs could be improved as you could do a lot more hideout crafts for profit. And as the hideout management skill increases, then that will decrease the cooldown time. And especially later in life, as the boss spawns increase, as, like at the moment they're around 15%, but as they go up to 30%, there's a much more likelihood that you could loot either players who've, who've died to the bosses or players who have wiped all the bosses, looted, and maybe left a few bags and rigs that you could upgrade on your really unlucky runs where you've you know just spawned in with a bad bag. Also, my scav skills for this test were much lower than my PMC skills because I had barely played any scav raids. So in future, it would be interesting to test like a scav PMC hybrid where like you're running your PMC raids but then after every PMC raid, maybe you can fit in the scav if the, you know, if the cooldown has elapsed. And maybe it'd be interesting to test other maps like interchange or reserve PMC versus scav and maybe do longer tests because like, as we talked about before, the longer the test is, the more rela reliable the data is going to be as it accounts for those really lucky or unlucky raids. So maybe like a 100 mil test, like 100 mil on PMC, 100 mil on scav. It could also be interesting to test multiple servers like if instead of selecting just Australia, what if I was selecting all of the servers available? And maybe that would result in quicker queue times, or maybe it would be maybe it would be even harder on PMC. Maybe it would put me into more popping raids. I'm not too sure. And lastly, I wonder: is scaving easier when the raids are popping or when they're dead? Like we already know that PMC runs are easier with dead raids because you're not having to compete for loot. But could scaving be better with popping raids because of the higher likelihood of looting dead PMCs and bosses? Like for the raids where I'm loading in with a really bad rig and bag, then a popping raid would give me a more a higher chance of upgrading those and then getting more loot. I'm not too sure. I would really like to get the thoughts of say some scav mains on this. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Finally, if you want a deep dive into how I loot efficiently, check out this video called Loot Like a Billionaire next.